Some crazy amazy creations. How are you? Come on in. All right. Let me pull up the live. Where am I? Crazy Maisie Creations. Hello, where are ya? Hey, let's see. Do we have a good signal? Everything looks good. Let's open it up. Where's the live? There we are, got it. Turn the volume down. How is everyone today? It is stinking gorgeous here in New York. And yes, May May wants to say hello. Hold on one second. Yes, I know, May May. You want to say hi. I know. You can't wait to see your fans. I know you can't wait to see your fans. Oh, she gets so excited. I don't know. Honestly, I swear. I don't know how she knows I'm going live. She wasn't even here. She was over by the stairs. And she hears me say, hey, guys. And she comes running over here. You are the smartest little girl. You know that? You're so smart. So say hi to everyone. Who's here? Hey, Charlotte. Hey, Tom Tom. Say hi to Tom Tom. Your biggest fan, Tom Tom and Kathy. Hey, Darlene. Hey, Debbie. Hey, Monica. All right, guys. So Melissa and I have something new we're starting. Every Thursday at 2 o'clock, we're going to go live. So I'm going to go live 2 o'clock Eastern every Thursday. And then right after me, Melissa from Burlap Boutique is going to follow me. Every Thursday, we just figured it's something we could tag team, have a good time. And Am I boring you? What's going on here, girl? Huh? <laughs> um, and have a good time. So just every Thursday at 2 o'clock Eastern, sit back, relax, get yourself a cup of tea. And you're going to have me and Melissa for two hours. Yep. You are. All right, I'm going to put this cutie down, and I'm going to show you what we're working on, all right? All right, May May. There you go. Hey, Jenna May. How are you, girl? Hey, Missy. Hey, Debbie from Kentucky. How are you? Every day. Well, I don't know about every day. It's been every day since this whole outbreak. I've been trying to go live every day, but it's a lot. It really is a lot. Hey, Paula. Hey, Connie. Hey, Cynthia. All right, so you know what to do, guys. You're on my live. Listen, Happy Mail can go flying. And actually, I'm going to be working on Happy Mail tonight. Um, so, um, we have... There must be something in the backyard. Um, we have to... What did I just... Oh, Happy Mail. So, we have to spread the love. So, three things when you're on here on my live. Hey, or Celia, Selly, Araceli, Araceli from Texas. How are you? I apologize if I messed your name up. Okay, so if you're on my live, just have a good time, hang out, relax. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, just you got to be on here. You got to network, chit chat with people, and spread the love. That's it. Thank you. All right. So let me do my part. <coughs> Ooh, I have a little tickle in my throat now. Why is that? No bueno for the tickle in my throat. Hey, Cecilia. How are you, girl? Um, May May, do you mind? I mean, there's nothing going on. To all my clubbies out there, thanks for coming in. I appreciate it. Maze. Nut job. Oh, I hear there's a um, UPS or something outside. Why is that in my way? All right, Facebook. Don't get nut. Oh, God, Facebook. I don't know if it's Facebook. It could be the user. Sometimes I blame Facebook when it's really me. What is going on here? There we go. That's what I want to do. Perfect. Hey, Stephanie. Hey, Kim Weaver. Hey, Lourdes. Hey, Michelle, you guys, thank you for coming in. 
I appreciate it. Hey, Beverly. So if you wouldn't mind to take a couple minutes and just spread the love for me, I would greatly appreciate that. All right, we're going to make it quick today because we have Melissa following me afterwards. May May, it's okay, sweetheart. No one's going to come in here. Okay. There we go. Hey, Joan. Hey, Jamie. Hey, Lisa. I, Facebook has been a nutty, nutty, wonky donkey pain in the booty. That's what I've got to say. And that's me being nice. Yeah, that's me being nice. All right. Hey, Lynette, how are you? All right, guys. I have two more to do, and then we can get started on the design. All right. Uh, where do I want to go? I want to go there. I get so confused where I have to be. All right. Um, no, not there. See, I'm confused now. There, that's where I want to be. Hey, Tracy. Hey, Cynthia. Hey, Linda. Hi, guys. All right. Hey, Heather. To all my clubbies, thanks for coming in and supporting. I appreciate it. All right. One more, guys. And we are Dunsies, and we can start on this, this design. All right, I did it, I'm done. Done, 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 done. All right, so that can go there. My laptop can go where it belongs, right there, perfect. All right, the hair, the gray is driving me crazy, guys. You have no idea how it's driving me crazy. Hey, Anne, hey, Heidi. Hey, Vicki, yes, we are doing well. Hey, Margaret, all right. So today, we're going to do a kit. We're going to work. Usually, you guys, you find me on here. I'm doing an 8-inch pixie wreath, okay? Today, we're changing it up a little. We're going to do a 12-inch kit, okay? Using a 12-inch wreath frame, okay? This is a good size. These are the ones that I'm making for the nursing home, um, for the hallway. They have a, a veteran's patriotic hallway that goes from my dad's unit across the um, center of the nursing home, you know, where everyone comes in and the reception is there and everything and where the dining room is. And then if you go across, that's where rehab is. So that whole hallway is just all vets and things like that. So this, hey, Ty, how are you, girl? So I used the 12 inch wreath frames because they're a nice size. Um, so I did a kit. You guys asked for a 12 inch wreath kit. Here we are, patriotic. All right, so you're gonna get a 12 inch wreath frame, okay? You're going to get the sign that says, Let Freedom Ring, which is fabulous, okay? You're going to get two rolls of mesh. You're going to get one poly jute full roll. You're going to get one red deco mesh, okay, full rolls, okay? You're going to get 14 pipe cleaners. You're going to get um, five yards of truck ribbon. Look how cute that is. Oh, what's going on with my Mevo? There we go. I don't know what that was all about. And then you're going to get five yards of the red polka dot, one and a half inch. And you're going to get five yards of the blue dash check. Honestly, guys, I don't have many of these kits available. I'm not just saying that. That's not a sales tactic or anything. That's honestly the truth. I don't have many of these kits available. So if you do want them, they're in my shop at crazymazycreation.com. I suggest you get them. They won't last. I have um, less than a dozen available. All right, so I'm just, I'm warning you. I'm warning you because I get a lot of emails going, do you have that that kit available? Do you have that sign available? And I'm like, oh, no, I don't. That was like, you know, a one-time deal. All right, so let's get this kit together. All right, it's a really cute, fabulous kit. All right, so let's get, I'm going to put six 
pipe cleaners on the inside, six pipe cleaners on the outside. I'm going to start here. Hey, Judith, how are you from Montana? How are you, girl? Um, hey, Marie. Hey, Tamika. Hey, Paul. Thank it is a really cute kit, guys. All right, so I'm going to start right here at the crossbar, the, um, the last two rings, the outer two rings, and I'm starting here at the crossbar, okay? And I'm just going to put my twist tie there. Hey, Teresa. Hey, Tia. How are you? Thank you for sprinkling. Yes, guys, spread the love. If you want to get some Happy Mail, that's how you're going to get it. So we're going to put them at every crossbar, guys. Okay, usually I bend down my pipe cleaners to measure, but not on this one. We're going to put it at every crossbar. Okay, simple, simple, simple. Don't worry about your pipe cleaners moving. I know people freak out about pipe cleaners moving. It does not affect your design. These are not going to move because you're doing it at the crossbar. Hey, Marianne, thank you. I know I love the Patriotic. So, yeah, it's available in my shop. Okay, um, they're ready to go. Hey, Brandy, how are you? Hey, Jill, Jill Ann or Jillian? Jill Ann from Michigan. How are you? Thanks for coming in, guys. I appreciate it. So, Melissa and I have been chatting and we've been planning. We want to do something together. So, we thought, you know what? Why not do the Melissa and Katie show? You know what I'm saying? Let's do it. So, we decided we're going to go live on Thursdays. I'm going to kick it off at 2 o'clock and she's going to bring it up in the rear at 3. That didn't sound so good. <laughs> that didn't sound good. All right, we're going to come in the middle between every twist eye, right in the middle. So for the inner rings, two rings, the inner two rings, we're going to come right through the middle, the center of these two outer pipe cleaners. And we're going to put um, a pipe cleaner right there, dead center. Hey, Denise, how are you? Thank you for sprinkling the love. I appreciate it. No, this is not a pancake wreath, guys. This is not, this is going to be a nice full wreath, okay? So when I do my pixie uh, wreaths, it's a full wreath. It's a smaller wreath on a smaller frame, but it's full. It's not a pancake wreath. Don't get them um, confused. A pancake wreath is something you put between your storm door and your front door. You know, they're made specifically if you have a storm door, that they fit nice, nice. These are nice full wreaths, okay? So we're going to put 12 twist ties on here. Okay. Did you ever finish the sign for the chicken wreath? No, we're going to do that today in group, Judith. I did not do that yet. Okay. But we are going to do it today. I don't know what time, but we are going to do it today. I have the sign. I have the sign. Oh, right here. We're going to paint vinyl, put this on our wreath that we did the other day in group. So we're going to have a bonus live in my private design group today. Hey, Beth from North Carolina. How are you? Hey, Ty. Hey, Melissa Wilson. What's going on, girl? Do you make your own signs? I do, Jill Ann. I do. Is that, am I saying your right name? Is it Jill Ann or is it just Jill? Um, if you go into my shop, Crazy Mazy Creation, you will see, um, crazymazycreation.com, you will see all the signs I make. You will. I have one of my kits in my Etsy shop that I did the other day. So you can check it out. All right, so we have 12 tw twist ties. You can see on the back where we place them. So if you do buy this kit and you spread the love for this kit, I send instructions with all my kits. If you get this um, kit, you'll have this live that you can go back and watch and see how I did it. You can get inspired, do exactly what I'm doing, or you can take inspiration and make it your own. All right? So we're going to take Polyjuke. We all know how much I love Polyjuke, guys. I think it makes... Um, I don't know what time today, Connie. I'm just going to do it spontaneously. Whenever I get a free moment, um, I'm going to go into the clubhouse and we're going to go live. I will try and give notice if I can, clubbies, to let you know when I am going live. I'll do the best I can. Okay. All right. We're going to cut these 30 inches. Okay. But first, we got to cut a nice fresh line. I always cut my mesh a nice straight line. I always want straight. All right, we're going to cut these 30 inches. So don't get it mistaken. When we do the pixie kit, we cut it 20 inches. For this 12 inch, we're going to do 30 inches. All right, guys? 30 inches. What am I doing? 30 inches. Okay? So I'm going to cut 12 of them at 30 inches, the poly juke. Hey, Jennifer, how are you? So 
So I think this is going to be fun. Melissa and I teaming up. It's going to be fun, fun, fun. So every Thursday, guys, put it in your calendar, put it in your phone, set your alerts that we will be live. All right. Oops, where is my shillelagh? There it is. Okay. Now, I didn't count, you know, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I need three more. Three more. Hey, Debbie, the centerpiece you made last night was darling, such talent. I love the, I know, right? That wasn't even my idea. That was someone else's idea. I love, I love it. See what happens when we collaborate, you know? It was so cute that um, Piggy last night, so stinking cute. All right, I think this is it. I'm not sure, but let's see. All right. Yay! Hey, Tony, how are ya? Hey, Joanne. It will be a dynamic duo. Yes, a dy me and Melissa. Yes. All right. So we'll get our 12-inch wreath frame. We're going to do Woodland Ruffle. Okay. We're just going to come in here. We're going to curl, and we're going to ruffle. And I'm going to, what should we do today? Up? Let's go up with it, okay? Typically, I go down, but we're going to go up with it. Katie, where purchase your frame for your pixie kits? My frame for my... Pick, oh, you mean the, the wired frame? Uh, I get them at the Dollar Tree. Hey, Daryl. Your animal wreaths were so cute. Love the one last night. With I know, Vicky, right? It's thinking cute. Can't take it. So cute. Do you like that better than the other mesh? Um, Tina, I love Deco Mesh. My favorite to work with, Poly Jute. Um, Poly Jute, I would say Fabric Mesh, and I would say uh, Window Pane Mesh. Those are probably my top three that I love, okay, to work with. I just like the Poly Jute. Because I think it gives it a little farmhouse quality, but yet you can make it whimsical. Like, there is bling bling in this design, you know, between the ribbon and the sign, you know. But yet, I just, I don't know. There's something about the, the natural jute that I just love. Love, love, love. And the more I work with, the more I use it, the more I love it. Hey, Joy, how are you? Hey, Joanne. Thank you for spreading love. Yes, guys, spread the love, okay? Um, we're going to do some Happy Mail in a couple minutes. I'm going to be packing up Happy Mail tonight, working on it tonight and tomorrow, getting it out from last week. And if you win some Happy Mail, all you have to do is private message me your mailing address, and I will be shipping it out. Becky, I just, can, can you believe this, Becky? I got your text message yesterday, and I remember in the back of my head, I was thinking, oh, I'll, let me text her back, okay? So then, right before I went live, because I had to go on my phone to get my Wi-Fi for my Mevo and hit the, the app, I never sent you the text. <laughs> I never hit send. So I will send you another message. But yes, that message you sent me yesterday, yes, in the future, that would be such a great help, girl. So I will send you that information, girl. All right. Thank you, Pamela. I like the rustic look, but you can make it whimsical as well. It doesn't just have to be rustic. That's what I love about it, you know? Because I've done many, many designs where I've used the poly jute and I've made it whimsy and you wouldn't even know. But there's something just about having that underlying natural jute under it. I just love it. Love it. Okay. Hey, Pat. How are you? Hey, Bonnie Burns. Bonnie Burns, you have uh, a doodle cat going to you. You sure do, girl. I just printed out your label a little while ago. You sure do. So if you guys don't know what the doodle caddy is, the doodle caddy is this organizer right here to my left. Okay? It's called the doodle caddy because anyone who knows me knows I call my husband doodles. 
aka Lou, <laughs> and um, he came up with this design for me. I wanted something. I used to use that, and I still have it right there, the white carousel um, from Michael's, but it took up too much room, and things kept falling out of it and everything. So I was like, doodles, I need you to make me something for my tabletop that is organized where it has all my tools that I use. Like, you don't ever see me walk away to get something, unless it's like my stem cutter or my pick machine. All my tools are right here that I use to make a design. I never walk away, you know? So that's what I wanted. And I wanted a branding board. I wanted something that promoted my website or my business that I didn't have to keep saying it. You guys saw it here every time I went live. So he knocked it out of the park. So when I started doing lives using it, people were like, Katie, where'd you get that organizer? My, my hubby made it. So you guys loved it so much that you asked if we could bring it to my shop. And it's in my shop now. And it has been. And it's been super popular. I love the mesh too. Hey, Cynthia. So if you guys are interested in the Doodle Caddy, you guys pick out. There'll be drop downs. You can pick out your own color paint that you want. Whatever color you want. And you can pick out the color vinyl you want. And just in the notes section, just let me know what you want to customize to read. You can have your name, you can have your business name, you can have your website, whatever you want, we will put in it. If you want a saying, you can have a saying put in it. So we love it. I love working with the natural jute. You can literally mix any, yes, it's like a denim. You remember like a couple of days ago, I was explaining to you how I feel denim is a neutral. You guys get dressed in the morning, you throw on a pair of jeans, you don't think about what color sweatshirt you're putting on, right? You could put on mustard color, you could put on orange, you could put on a red sweatshirt, a purple sweatshirt with jeans, because any color goes with jeans, right? It's denim. So I was saying the other day that people need to use more denim as a neutral. Think of denim ribbon. Think of denim mesh as a neutral. You know, because I'm always talking about dimension, texture, and color. Three most important things in your design. Did I not cut enough? My short one? I thought I counted right. Hey, Izzy, how are ya? Hey, Jamie, I love... Yes. Me too, Caroline. I love this when it peekaboos out. I love that. Yep. So, guys, for you to be a part of the Happy Mail, you have to be in here, you have to be engaged. You have to chit-chat, say hello, tell me where you're from, tell me how the weather is. As you can see here today, New York, the sun is shining. Mother Nature has got it half right, <laughs> okay? She's got the sun out, but listen, uh, she I think she's confused in what month we're in. She thinks it's winter. Mother Nature's got to get it right because out there is gorgeous, but it is blowing so cold, I'm freezing. Like, literally, I was talking to my friends last night on the phone, and I was like, telling one of them, I was like, I need my winter coat back out. It's April. That's how cold it is here. Like, I need my winter coat. All right, so we have them all in. Okay? Really cute. Okay? So, let's get the red in. Red mesh. Okay? Okay, and how many ribbon boards do you have in your lady? And how much for all of them? Okay, and um, the, the perfect tails here, I don't have all of them because Melissa just came out with the mini tails. So here are the perfect tails, the tiny tails, and I'm going to be getting the mini tails, okay? Which, wait until you see, I'm going to get a bow for the mini tails. It's going to be so cute for like arrangements and stuff like that truck arrangement I did last night. If you watched my live, I'm going to make a bow with using the mini tails. Um, go on to burlapboutique.com, okay? She's coming up after me, actually. Melissa, the owner and creator of the Perfect Tales, will be up at 3 o'clock Eastern, right after me. Um, you can get the complete set there. Prices, I don't know prices off the top of my head. I have so much going on in my life that I can't remember prices. But if you go on to burlapboutique.com, you can definitely check out prices. And you can check out her new mini tails that she has. All right? All right. So here's red. We're going to take a pop of red and put this in our design. Okay, I'm going to cut off a fresh lovey-dovey piece. All right, let's do 20 inches, guys. So we started with 30 inches. Now we're going to go 20 inches, okay? Hey, Cheryl, what's going on, girl? Trying to touch my nose to show you some love. We had snow. I know I heard there was, there was, um, ooh, I did not cut that straight. we got to cut a straight piece. I don't like wonky donkey on my wreaths. Um... I know they were calling for snow here as well. I don't know if it actually did snow or not, but um, they were calling for it. 
All right, so we're going to cut 12 pieces at 20 inches, all right? 20 inches. Now, I'm not used to measuring, and I'm not going to start now. So I'm just going to cut approximately 20 inches. You guys, if you want to, you know, be all crazy with numbers, you can be, but I don't design like that. Um, I just, you know, I do approximately. I'm not an about kind of girl, you know, like a numbers kind of girl. Okay, we're going to do some happy mail right after here, girl. I was going to say girl, like I'm talking to someone one-on-one. -on -one. Guys. <laughs> hey, Ted, Teddy Bear. Oh, my God, that is so stinking cute. Hi, Katie. Chrissy from Pennsylvania. Love your lives. Oh, my God, Teddy Bear. Chrissy, I love the name. Is that your business name or like your handle on Facebook or something? That is stinking adorable. We had snow here this morning. Ooh, Kathy, really? PA is snowing and blowing, and we are getting more. Carol, what is happening here on the Northeast? Mother Nature is messing with my mojo. What do I have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We need one more. And guys, look, you're going to have so much mesh left over that you can do a pixie kit. You can do a pixie wreath with the mesh left over from this kit. If you do it like the way I'm doing it. You'll have enough mesh for a pixie kit. Okay? All right. Let's go. We're just gonna curl in. Hey, Willie, how are you? Now this one, we came up on the other one. We're gonna go down on this one, okay? We're gonna put these down. These curls facing down. So we're going opposite than when we just did, okay? We're in New Jersey. Ooh, we got some Jersey people in the house. I love it. Close to me. Are you guys South Jersey or North Jersey? It is snow this weekend. Oh, my God. No more snow. People, that's too much snow. Mother Nature, Pat, I think is drunk. I don't know what's up with Mother Nature. But she's just not right at all. Well, we have the sun. That's not the problem. Mother Nature's got, like I said, got it half right. She's just wonky donkey on the temperature. I use Kryolan Clear Glaze and Maj Paj. For what? Oh, to cover your signs? Is that what it is? Hey, Trenton. How are you? Hey, Regina from Texas, what's going on? What's going on? So I put red as the mesh in this kit because the sign has so much blue in it. So I knew the red would pop. And you know me, I love a nice popping color. You guys, thank you so much. Let's do some happy mail. Let me put this in and we're going to do some happy mail. So make sure you spread the love, guys. And we're going to give away, how about, um, you know what, I'm not going to say what we're going to give away. We're going to do a surprise. Surprise, surprise, surprise. I gave away, though, three wreath kits last week. So sticking cute. All right, let's get my Happy Mail notebook out. All right. Let's go, let's go, let's go. What is today? Today is a Thursday. It's the kickoff of the Melissa and Katie show. <laughs> All right, Thursday. So, guys, since I'm doing it today, you it won't get packed up till next week and out next week. So, don't think it's going to be this week. So, whenever I do Happy Mail, it goes out the following week. I just, I have to dedicate one day to it because I have too much going on with, you know, orders and my private group and lives and, you know, life, my mother taking care, you know, the house, uh, bubbies, you know. It's just too much. All right, here we go. Uh, I need a sip. I got a tickle in my throat. Oh, geez, that was good. All right. Here we go. Linda. Okay, I don't want to mess up your name. Artig... 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 From Louisiana. Send me your mailing address. PM me your mailing address. And I'm going to send you some happy mail, girl. Yay! I love it. Love it, love it, love it. 
All right, so we're going to get these in. All right, whoopsies. Snow four inches in Ohio, starting to enjoy crazy talk. Hey, Antoinette, how are you, girl? The weather is going to be beautiful. Where do you live? Florida? California? It's got to be somewhere like that because here it is no bueno. Too, too cold. My mom is doing okay. I think she's actually upstairs calling my dad. She, um, I guess, had a dream or something about my dad. And uh, she came down here and asked me to call, but he was at lunch. And we don't like to disturb. Like, if he's napping or eating, um, we don't want to, like, disturb his pattern throughout the day because he gets confused and stuff so she was waiting and I was going live so I told her I would call him after my live or um, you know she would call and uh, I think she's upstairs calling him right now yay congratulations yep perfect sales at burlapboutique.com this kit is available in my shop crazy Maisie creations also, this wreath that I'm making right now is available in my Etsy shop. You will see a picture of the um, supplies, okay? Yep, okay. Cheryl, we're going to use a Let Freedom Ring sign, and it's part of the kit. I'll show it to you in one second, okay? Utah is getting rain, sun, snow, earthquakes all this morning. Oh my God, Tracy. That is a definitely no bueno. That is a no bueno. Don't like all that. From Oklahoma. Hey, Sharon from Oklahoma. You have way too much ribbon. Girl, I hear you on that. But listen, is there really ever too much ribbon? I don't know about that. We could get two to four inches or seven to ten. Oh my God, Carolyn, what is that about? Teddy Bear was the name of my chocolate lab. He crossed the Rainbow Bridge. Oh, Chrissy, you named your thing. Oh, that's so sweet. I'd probably do a thing like that too. Rosalind, snowing where you're at? Holy macaroni, guys. Is it not crazy? Seriously, not crazy. All right. We're going to get this last one in. Then we're going to put the sign in and then our ribbon tails and a bow. Okay. Yes, there's my Etsy shop. If anyone is interested in this sign, in this sign, listen to me. In this, whoopsie, in this wreath. It's in my Etsy shop right now. Okay, so this is what we have so far. Nice and full, guys, right? And we're. it's going to be about 20 inches or so. About, give or take. All right, let's get this sign on. All right. I'm going to grab my label. Okay. So I always put my business label on the back of all my signs, whether I've made the sign or not. Do we have a Zoom tomorrow? Antoinette, we don't Zoom. Um, our next Zoom, I forgot the date. It's at the end of the month. But it's typically not on a Friday. Um, and I will post it in the clubhouse. So we have a family in my private group. We do a family Zoom call. Um, and that's where we network. We get to know each other. We talk a little business. You know, uh, last week we did um, a Unique in the Creek kit that one of our clubbies Connie from Reads by Connie M was in there showing us awesome yes thank you Becky I appreciate it. you guys Becky is my VA and my friend and I love her and she's doing a super job 
So you guys should show Becky some love. And if you want to check out Becky, she has boards, Beyond Boards by Becky or with Becky. I always mess up the name of your business. I'm so sorry, Becky. I'm a bonehead. Uh, but definitely check her out. She has some really cute stuff in her shop. Really cute. All right, so we have our sign on. Okay, we're gonna come right down here through the center. You were thinking today was Wednesday? <laughs> so funny. Listen, the other day I was sitting with my mom and I was like, is today Monday? Is today, what day is today? And she's like, uh, no, it's Saturday. And I was like, wait, it's Saturday? I had no idea what day it was. See, that's what happens when you stay too long in the freaking house. You know, I'm going crazy. Well, actually, I'm not going crazy. I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't say that because it's actually been um, very nice. Very nice in here. Hey, Susan. How are you, girl? So I used one cable mount to add the sign. Now you can add whatever you, you know, you want, if you want a staple, totally up to you, what you want to use. This was right near me, okay? Typically I staple my pipe cleaners to my sign. That's typically what I do. So it's a cable mount, you can get them on Amazon, you can go to Home Depot, they're one inch by one inch, and I use the outdoor. You can get indoor or outdoor, I use the outdoor. I put a little glue on it, okay? To make it stick a little better. You can use a little dap glue if you wanted. All right, so there we have it. Really cute so far. Left freedom ring. All right, let's grab our ribbons to this kit. I'm gonna put this over here so you guys can see it. We're gonna use our perfect tails. So since this is a 12 inch wreath frame, okay, I'm going to use, let's use our 11 inch today. Okay, typically I use my 12 inch perfect tail, but today we're gonna use our, our um, 11 inch. Cause I'm feeling I want, look how cute these are. I just love my perfect tails. How do you do the zoom? I tried to get on one last and could not. You have to download the app, Judith. There's always, whenever we go zoom, uh, there's always instructions in the clubhouse. Um, and you just download, it's free. I put post um, a number and at the time of the zoom, which is always seven o'clock Eastern. Um, we, uh, you put that number in, like dialing a number, and you get in. It's a like a FaceTiming. Yep. My sister told me that all she would like is a trip to the dollar store. She'd be happy getting out. Girl, me too, Marianne. Me too. All right. So we're gonna do eleven inch tails. We're gonna take the truck ribbon that comes along in this kit. Look how cute that truck ribbon is with the American flag on it. So cute, okay? So we're gonna do, I'm gonna cut 10 of these, right? I'm gonna do 10, yeah, let's do 10. Or we're gonna just do it for the outside. I'm trying to change it up a little. Let's do, we're gonna do nine, let's do nine. We can always cut another one if I want it. Six, seven, eight, nine. Scissors would be nice. I love watching your awesome, Oh, thank you, Chrissy. I love your name, I'm never gonna forget your teddy bear. I know it's your dog, the pass, and I know you're Chrissy. And those, that, that is just going to stick in my head forever because I just love it. Look how easy and simple Perfect Tails are, and look how they all are the same size. Not one's longer than the other. They are perfect. They're better than cardboard, guys. All right, this is going to be used for a bow. Look how much ribbon we have left. I'm going to put it over here. Let's cut. I'm just trying to think what I want to do. Um, nine. I'm trying to think if I want to go every other one. I'm trying to think what I want to do here. Um, let's do. I'm gonna do eight of these. We might have to cut more. I'm not sure, but we're gonna cut eight of these. Six, seven, eight. Is that right? For eight. All right, so we're going to cut eight of this one. This isolation is making me cook more than I normally do. Running out for dinner ideas. <laughs> That's so funny. I'm going to have tonight chicken. 
That is what's on the menu tonight. All right, we got more of this left over. Now, if I want more tails, I'll cut them. But I'm thinking I'm going to do two of each in every twist tie. So we're going to do eight on this one, too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Katie, how can I order the Doodle Caddy? Teresa, go to crazymazycreation.com and put in the search bar Doodle Caddy, or it might be on the front page, the home page, I don't remember. Um, and don't forget, when you go to ring out, put in the notes section what you want it customized, what you want it to read. All right, this is what's left over. So we have a lot of ribbon left over for our bow for this kit. Okay, we're gonna dovetail these. See how perfect it makes. This is such a time saver, these perfect tails. I love them. Hey, Christina, to all my clubbies. Thanks for coming in. So this is exciting, guys. Every Thursday, 2 o'clock Eastern, you're going to get me kicking it off, and then you're going to have Melissa. And hopefully, we're hoping in the future, Doreen is going to be able to, she doesn't have the best Wi-Fi, Doreen from Door Designs. Uh, she's going to be able to do some um, videos that we can add to our Thursday lineup. So it's gonna be fun every Thursday, two o'clock. So you know my schedule is every Monday at two o'clock, I go live here on my public page. And every Wednesday night at eight o'clock, I go live. Unknown caller. Unknown caller, that is no bueno, because I did not put Do Not Disturb while I went live. So you need to go. Um, so every Wednesday, eight o'clock. So that's my schedule usually. And then every Tuesday I'm in my private group and every Sunday I'm in my private group. So now I just added Thursdays with the Melissa and Katie show and hopefully Doreen soon. All right, this blue, this, so you guys know that the polka dots are one of my favorite, but this, the big polka dots, love. But this um, dash check is really becoming one of my faves, love it. You guys, don't forget to spread the love. If you want to get some happy mail, you have to be on here. You have to engage. Look at this truck ribbon. I'm in love with it. Um, engage, network, and just have a good time. Spread the love. And you never know who I'm going to choose at any time. Yes, get your perfect tails. Burlap Boutique. My honey is on here. Hey, honey, honey. Honey, honey. So, Doreen, Melissa, and I, we all have nicknames for each other. So, I call Melissa honey and uh, we call Doreen Ruby and they call me kitty so when you hear me say honey or Ruby you know who I'm talking about and I usually when I say honey I always have to sing honey honey I don't know why because I can't sing for the life of me but I just like to even though I can't I like to last night we were chatting and uh Doreen said, um, you don't have a voice. And I was like, no, you don't have an ear. You don't have a good ear to listen to the, the tone of my voice. That's what the problem is. M my singing is fabulous. You just don't have a musical ear. That's what I tell all my friends when they say I can't sing. Yes, I love this ribbon for this kit. Love it, love it, love it. All right, so that's 11 inch going in. All right, let's clean up the scraps here. I used to have a woman that had me save these scraps because I don't know what she made, but I sent them to her one time and I never heard from her again. Now I just throw them out. All right, so let's get this in. Let's get it on. All right, so I'm gonna take truck ribbon, okay? And we're gonna do two polka dots, okay? Fold. I hope you don't mind saying this, but I lost my daddy to Alzheimer's disease in 2001. I miss him so much. Bless you and your family for what you're going through. Oh, thank you. I'm so sorry you lost your father. I know it's such a tough disease. I know. It's horrible. But I don't mind you saying that. You guys, if you share your story with me, you know, that's great. I love hearing everyone's stories, you know. Me too, Cynthia. I love patriotic. It just gives me, it just makes me happy when I make a patriotic wreath. Really does. Patriotic is perfect for all year rounds, you know.
Hey Bev, how are ya? All right, so we're gonna do two red in one, and then we're gonna do two blue in the other. I think that's gonna look really cute. Oh, awesome, Antoinette. I just put the 11 inch in the wrong, oh, thanks, Judith. See, that's a clubby. That's one of my own, that's one of my girls looking out for me. I love it. Thank you, girl. I appreciate it. Because you know they ought to look nice, nice. They all got to look nice there. All right. I love it. So if you guys haven't joined Crazy Maisie Creations community page, please do so. It's um, it's a page that I have that's open to the public. Okay, you can post there. You can post your lives there. Share other people's lives there. Post your designs if you're selling them. You know, whatever you want to do. It's open it's for inspiration. It's for creativity. You know, um, we also have one for the Crafty Club. Okay, it's called the Crafty Club community page. You can go check it out. Also, Melissa, Dorian, and myself, we have the Crafty Club Market. Now, it's free, but it's a private group. And in there, you get discounts. You get exclusive wreath kits in there that are just for you guys alone. Um, so, you definitely can check them out. It's a fun group we have in there. It's called the Crafty Club Market. And we love it. Where do you suggest to buy ribbon? Well, I have ribbon in my shop. Um, you can check out my shop. You can go to Deco Exchange. I have an affiliate for Deco Exchange. You can go to Waterman's Loft. I have an affiliate also for there. So you can go check out um, the top of my page, Crazy Maisie Creations. Um, has all the links to all the favorite places that I love to shop and the things that I love. And the links bring you right into their shop. Okay. Wait, I missed that comment. Vicky, my den is Americana. I have collected over 40 years. My pride is my brother, my barber chair and my rip. Oh, that's awesome. Roxanne, what's going on girl? What's happening? Okay. Roxanne. Yes, awesome. Did something happen? What are we sending prayers for? Oh, I hate sad news. Did something happen? Oh, Christina, you had a loss. Hey, Danica. Danita, what am I saying? Dan Danica. I'm thinking of the, the freaking uh, race car driver. <laughs> What's wrong with me? All right. We might have to cut more ribbon. I thought we only needed, what did I cut? Eight or nine? I couldn't remember. Thank you, Sandra. Well, this wreath is available in my Etsy shop. This is also a kit that we're putting together, which is available in my shop. I don't have many left. I know a few have just sold, and I only had less than a dozen of these kits, so I don't know how many are left now, but so a few come through my phone when we started. So if you want it, I suggest you go to crazymazycreation.com and get yourself this kit. Because this is fabulous. It's on a 12-inch frame. Okay. So it's like right in between. So that's a sweet spot. It's not that 8-inch like I do the pixie kits. But it's not a 14-inch like those big over-the-top wreaths. It's like that sweet spot of a wreath. I love it. It measures, will come out about 20, 20 and a half inches. It's a great, great size wreath. Oh, go under videos, Danita. If you're new, um, go under videos. You will see all my videos since we started my private group. So there's about two years worth of videos, or almost two years worth. I don't think I've been, I think it's a, about a year in, I think it's going to be two years in August, actually. So we're almost at the two-year anniversary mark. Thank you. 
I know, right, Dina? The ribbon is gorgeous. Love it. Yes, awesome. Christina, you have to post a picture in the clubhouse, girl. We want to see it. If you do a picture wreath, I want to see your go to the community page, Crazy Maisie community page, and show us your version of the pixie kit wreath. I would love to see it. This one is a 12 inch kit. So it's not a pixie kit. I know, right? Teresa is so cute. My sweatshirt is in my shop. Spread the love. That's what I always say. So this is in my shop. If you go to crazymazycreation.com, you can get this sweatshirt as well in my shop. I want to put a blue one there, so let's put this one here. Thank you, Pam. We're going to give away some more Happy Mail. Give me a couple of minutes just to finish up these tails, and we're going to put in some more. We're going to do some more Happy Mail. And I'm going to be working on Happy Mail tonight. I got my whole night lined up. I'm going to, after this, we got Melissa coming up from Burlap Boutique. She's going to do a fabulous design. And um, how did I cut odd number? What is wrong with me? Um, and uh, tonight after dinner, I'm coming down here and working on Happy Mail to get out. If natural mesh is cut 30 inches intervals, is there enough mesh to do another wreath? Same size. Not same size. You can do... This is what you'll have left over, okay, in the mesh. You could do a pixie kit with this mesh. You'll have enough to do a pixie kit, okay? Woo, honey, honey. Okay, wait, I got blue here. Did I mess up somewhere? Blue, red, blue right here. Okay. He's like, wait a second. The cut... Cut two more pieces of ribbon, so I'm short, and then we'll make a cute little bow. I know, right, Cindy? The sign is super cute. Super cute. And I have another patriotic kit that I'll be coming out with. Um, so what do I need? What did I say I needed? Blue, right? Blue. And then I gotta cut one red. Okay, so this is all. Let me grab my 11 inch. I gotta cut two more. There we go. And I gotta cut one red. I don't know how I was counting. Honey, honey. Sorry, I was only left here. Ooh. Okay. So let's dovetail. Move my scissors over here. Why are my, my comments aren't scrolling? I don't know why. I know, right? The sign and the ribbon are fabulous together. No, it's made on a 12 inch wreath frame. 12. Okay, so I thought I would do a different kind of a kit today. So this kit is a 12 inch wreath frame. You wanna do your first kit? Oh, you wanna sell kits? Susan, absolutely, I'll help you out, girl. Whatever you need, you let me know. I know, me too, Pamela, I love using the jute. Thanks, Chrissy. I appreciate that. I want to call you Teddy, though. <laughs> I love the name Chrissy, but I want to call you Teddy because of your, your fur baby. Okay, so I have to cut one more truck ribbon. Okay. So I was a little short. I didn't... Here we go. My 11 inch. Okay. We have plenty of ribbon left over. We're going to make a bow. Or you could save this leftover ribbon and use the leftover mesh and use it for your pixie kit. 
You know, if you wanted to make a pixie kit with the leftovers, you can do that as well. Yes, my truck couture. Thank you, Becky. So next Friday, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, I'm going to do a live. Um, Lisa Kellum, um, she inspired me, and uh, she does truck couture, and I joined under her, and I am now an independent designer for truck couture, and um, I am going to do my first live doing something with truck couture. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to make yet, but I'm super excited. So you guys, I have a page called Chalking with Katie's Crew. Um, you can go over there and check it out, join it. And that's where I will do my live next week, all right, on that page. Because apparently you can't do it on a public page. All right. Ah, Teddy, thank you. I appreciate that. I'm going to call you Teddy. I, first of all, I love how you spell Teddy. Okay, that's number one. And I just think it's cute just call you Teddy because that's your... I'd want someone like, people call me Maisie. I'm like, my name's not Maisie. But I get it. You know what I mean? It's my dog's name. I get it. And I don't mind. I kind of like it too. Um, I would love to pick your brain on sign making. Do you think mine look bad? But I think they could be better. Most of my signs are three-dimensional. Well, that's good. So am I. <laughs> the ones I make. I love a three-dimensional sign. Um, I've never seen your signs, Jill. If you want to send me some pictures, um, if I have time, I have no problem helping. I'll help anyone out in the community. All right, so this is what we have so far. Stinking cute, guys, right? All right, so we're going to make a sweet little bow. All right. And then we'll have Melissa on after me. So this is all the, the ribbon that's left over, okay, from this kit. Okay, this is all the ribbon left over. So like I said, you can use this for a pixie. If you want to do another pixie kit, you can do that. Or you can make a bow. So we'll make a sweet little bow out of here. Okay, we're just gonna make a quick hand bow because we have Melissa coming on after me. All right, oh, I didn't cut this one. Why didn't I cut that? And that one escaped me. Thank you, Sean. I appreciate Let's do happy mail. Wait, before we make a bow, let's do happy mail. Happy mail. We got to do some happy mail. All right, hold on. Let me grab my notebook. Thank you for the stars, Amy. I totally forgot about the stars. Guys, I have stars now connected to my Facebook page. Something Facebook came up with. It's wackadoodle. I really don't get it. But if you click the stars, something happens. I don't know what happens. All I know is I get stars now because I reached a milestone or something. So you can click stars and, but, ah, uh, thank you, Jamie. My God, these are my first stars. I just forgot that I get stars. It's the little things in life that make me happy, stars. Oh my God. Bose, are you down for? Marianne, I don't want to hear that. Me, your mailing address. PM me, PM me your mailing address, and I'm going to send you some happy mail. All right, let's make a bow. Let's, and you never know, I might, freezing, and that's no bueno. We don't like freezing. All right, so here we go. We're going to start with the truck ribbon that comes in your kit, okay? I don't want super long tails, but we'll do a little bit of tails, okay? I'm just going to make a quick hand bow, guys, all right? I'm just going to keep looping. Okay, these are approximately, I don't measure, about six inches, okay, loops. And I'm just going to continue to just make loops in my hand. You haven't tried the Bodabra, they're all the same, they're all stinking easy, guys. Don't freak out about making bows. Bows ooh, are so easy, I swear. Who won? Who won what? Oh, I froze. I'm sorry. Carolyn Hall. Carolyn Hall. Did I freeze at the moment I announced it? I apologize. Carolyn Hall, send me your, PM me your address and you're going to get some happy mail, girl. Carolyn Hall. I hope she comes back. Would that not stink if she did not come back? Okay, let's cut this. I 
Can you come over here? It's hard to cut as a righty. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Come on, cut. There we go. I have the worst. When I cut righty because I'm a lefty, it's horrible. All right. So that's what we have so far. I'm just going to stick this right in my hand. Yes, Carolyn Hall. I'm sorry. I didn't realize that it froze when I announced the name. All right. Let's take some of the blue. Whoopsies. Keep that over there. All right. Okay. Melissa's probably like, girl, would you get off? I want to go live. <laughs> But you know me, I like to chit chat, guys. But please don't leave because we have Melissa coming up right after me. And you know, she's going to be fabulous, guys. You know, she's going to be fabulous. My girl never is not. So, all I'm doing, guys, just watch what I'm doing. I'm just doing loops. It's nothing crazy. I'm just doing loops. Hey, Wendy, how are you, girl? Okay, we're gonna cut. And then we're gonna take our polka dot. Okay, and we're gonna come this way now. So I started this way. We started truck, started blue. Now we're gonna go this way with our, our tail. So I just changed positions of my tails where I put them in my hand, okay? Ah, uh, thank you, Linda. How do you learn to make your own bows? Um, well, I teach it in my private group. I just honestly, the way I learned is just by doing it. You know, I mean, the first few that I, not first few, actually a lot, were not good. They were not good. But it's like riding a bike. You know, you just have to, you just have to practice. You know, really, it's like anything else in life. You just have to practice. And see what you like. You know. And don't get caught up what other people are doing. If my, your bow does not look like my bow, that does not mean it's a, not a good looking bow. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's why I always say take, like when I started with this kit. And I say instructions come with it. All my kits, you get instructions, okay? You can always go back and watch this live and you can do what I do. But I hope that you don't do what I do. I hope you take inspiration and you make it your own. You know, I hope you do something that's a little different than me. All right, so we're going to cut this one now. You know, um, that's what makes you stand out from someone else, you know. Oh, wait, we have a pipe cleaner right here. I give you a pipe cleaner. Okay, we're just going to pipe clean this in. Yes, the perfect tails you can get at burlapboutique.com. Thank you, Susan. Just ordered two wreath kits. Hopefully, I will be able to do them. Working at a hospital. So excited to make one for my mom. Oh, awesome. Well, Christy, you'll have instructions for this kit, okay? Um, and you'll have this video. So if you share this video, you'll have it on your wall, okay, on your Facebook page. So you can always go back and watch it, or you can go back to my page. And watch it because I don't delete my um, my lives. All right, so let me dovetail some of these tails. Melissa, I'm sorry, girl. I know you're probably like, girl, what is taking you so long? I'm ready, but there's no pressure. It's just me and Melissa. It's just me and Melissa doing our thing. All right. So this is a great kit. It has a lot. Listen, you have more than enough material in this kit to, um, do I get all the tails? All right, so let's straighten this bow out. We're gonna fluff it a little. Can all, what's that, Susan? You could do you, YouTube? Okay. 
Hey, Johnny, how are you? Where did you get all seven of the ribbon tails? Burlapboutique.com. You can get them. Oh, my God, Jamie. Aw, thank you, Jamie. That wreath that you did came out fabulous, and I'm just so proud that I could have been a part of it and that you came to me for that sign. I love it. Oh, Sue Williams, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Yes, Sunday. Funday Bow Sunday. Every Sunday. Okay. All right. So we're going to put this bow. Now, typically something like this, I would probably put a bow towards the bottom. All right. All right, let's see. But I think today I'm going to put it towards the top. I think that's what I'm going to do today. Thank you. Thank you, Debbie. All right. Hold on. Let's get this in. We'll give away one more happy mail after I get my bow in. And then you guys, you have Melissa after me at Burlap Boutique. She will be ready to... Hey, Nelly. How are you? Whoopsies. Oh my God, Jamie, it is my pleasure. Girl, listen, honestly, it was my pleasure to do that sign. My big old fingers, I can't reach the, come on girl, get your big old fingers in there. Thank you for spreading the love. I appreciate it. Yes, Burlap Boutique is up next right after me. All right. There we go. Let's get this one in, and we're going to tie this down. Come on. There you go. Okay, got it. How <laughs> that hurt my fingers. All right, we might have to cut some of these. Let me turn this bow. I want this bow this way. Don't be afraid to move your bow and everything how you want it. Okay. There we go. Ooh. I know I needed the needle. I was trying to deny myself the needle. All right. I got it. I'm twisting it. So when you twist your pipe cleaner in the back, okay, you don't want anything sticking out. That will scratch your customer's door. Just tuck it right back in behind your mesh. Okay. And you are good. Let's get this bow up and fluffed. Okay, I need this facing me so I can see it. Okay. Let's cut this tail. one. So I almost made like a funky bow. All right. Cutie freaking patooties. You could do um, cheetah bows if you wanted on this. There's so many things you could do with the extra ribbon that you get in this kit. This one's a little long. Let's shorten that a little. All right. I'm going to hold it up. I'm going to show you how it came out. Loving it. Yes, Catherine, I do. I do, but the funny thing is when that happens, um, I kind of like go back to basics, honestly, you know, like to how I first started learning and creating, 
and somehow, some way, I come up with new ideas. Like the other day, I had a new idea for, well, I've been thinking about it for a while. The past two weeks, I had two ideas that I did in my private design group, and it freaking came out fabulous. And you know, you build up these ideas in your head and how you're going to add to them and add to them. And when you see it come out, it's crazy. All right, guys. Look how cute. So stinking cute. So stinking cute. So, guys, this kit is fabulous. You have a nice wreath at the end of it. It measures approximately about 20, 20 and a half, 20 to 20 and a half inches. All right. You have plenty of ribbon, plenty of mesh, plenty of ribbon to make a bow and ribbon tails. If you didn't want to make a bow, okay, you could save your uh, ribbon with your mesh that you have left over and make a small pixie wreath if you wanted, okay? So this kit is available in my shop at crazymazycreation.com. This wreath is available in my Etsy shop, okay? So, I'm done. Do you guys have any questions? Thank you, Pamela. Thank you, Catherine. Thank you, Sean. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for the hearts. Thank you for the stars, guys. That freaked me out a little bit because that kind of excited me. Do you cut, do you not cut the ones with ribbon or just fold them into the wreath? Uh, Janella, I don't really understand your question. Do you not cut the ones with ribbon or just fold them into the wreath? Are you talking about the pipe cleaners? I cut all the pipe cleaners. I don't keep any. Some people curl their pipe cleaners, that, if that's what you're talking about. I cut all my pipe cleaners. Okay, Cheryl. Everyone is going to head over to Burlap Boutique AL. It's on Facebook. Okay, the AL is for Alabama. Someone else took Burlap Boutique, I guess. But um, So you're going to head on over every Thursday, 2 o'clock, Crazy Maisie Creations, Eastern, 3 o'clock, Burlap Boutique AL right now. As soon as I say goodbye... <laughs> You're going to head over there. Melissa's going to start it up. Okay, guys? Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, guys. Have a great, great, great Thursday. I hope you enjoy. And uh, let's go ahead. I'm going to head on over there, too. I'm going to go check out Mel Melissa and see what she's making. All right, guys. I'll see you at Burlap Boutique AL in a few seconds. Have a great day. Thanks for kicking in with Katie. Bye.